what is Kitty Blue? Welcome to my doll channel. It is January the 1st, 2022. So Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, with that comes another fun-filled installment of my doll goals. So I'm going to go over what new things that I want to do for 2022 and things that went on during 2021. And I go over just things, an overview of things and new things to come. So here we go. Uh, first of all, I don't really like making New Year's resolutions. I've done that for many, many years and things always happen. I'm good to go for a couple of days, maybe a week or two, and then life just happens. Um, this year's been a little bit of a struggle for me. I mean, everything worked out okay, um, but I ended up having eye surgery. I'm not sure if I might have mentioned that in some of my earlier videos. So it kind of like slowed down some of my uh, more creative aspects of my doll um, plans for 2021. Um, I ended up having cataracts. I did have them, the lenses in my eyes replaced with multifocal lenses. They are great and um, supposed to improve my overall vision so I don't have to rely on glasses. Didn't really have a big visual problem um, before the cataracts. So I wasn't sure if I was going to go on that route, but I decided to do it because I really wanted to keep the close-up vision as well since I do a lot of sewing. Um, unfortunately, with those lenses came some other new developments. Um, I now have issues with glares, depth perception, and um, halos around every single light imaginable. So it definitely was a struggle, but you know, hey, I can see, so that is definitely a plus. Um, kind of like set me back in some mental health issues as well, but I'm trying to keep positive. I enjoy my dolls and this really brings me joy in my life. So here I am doing some more videos, not going to let that stop me from having some more doll fun and then continuing to improve. Um, hopefully the eyes, the eye problems will improve. They did say that... Um, over time, the glare and the halos and stuff might have some improvement, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to let that stop me from having any doll fun. All right, first off, let's go over some of the highlights of last year after all that nonsense there. Um, it definitely was, seemed to be the year of the smart doll for me. Uh, my collection definitely grew even larger with so many fabulous releases that went off on 2021. Um, I got my blue dolls and, you know, I got Supergirl, lots of cool stuff. Utter Chaos is always so much fun. I can't resist getting the Utter Chaos because you just never know what's going to happen. And it's a nice surprise and it's, it's kind of uplifting to, to, like, you know, just have certain surprises in your life. So... Definitely was lots of fun. Um, I did buy a few resin dolls during 2021. Um, you can view my end of the year video. I'll post the link down in the description. And it goes, I'll, when I go through that video, I do tell you like which dolls are new for 2021. I may not have done that for all my smart dolls because I honestly couldn't remember which ones I got in 2020 and 2021 so it's kind of mixed together but yeah you definitely can check that out in that video um as always the first um oh so the goals for 2021 pretty much kind of carried over from 2020 i'm not gonna like 2020 was ridiculous i was just like oh 20 goals in 2020 and that was just too high of a goal standard and um I'm not sure many people can try and keep up with that. So some of them did carry over into 2021, and I'm going to go over those. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's no surprise that some of them are carrying over for 2022 as well. It's kind of hard sometimes to find a balance between life and doll stuff. So let's move on. Um, as always, first on my list is my dollhouse. Although I didn't have a chance to actually build the dollhouse this year, I do have all the supplies to start on it, um, and my husband actually was able to build me a one-shelf 
one shelf, one shelving unit, which is like three cubby holes. It is off to the side. Um, you can also view that in the end of the year overview video. Um, so that like basically houses all my smart dolls since the collection kind of went off the rail. Um, I did move my shelves that you see behind me. We're on the opposite wall. Um, I painted half of the room. Now I have to do the other half bef before I start actually building the second unit of dollhouse. Um, so that is definitely something that is going to be done. I shouldn't say be done, but it's definitely going to be a work in progress throughout 2022. Um, okay, next on the list was downsizing. This is always a challenge for me. I've mentioned it in previous videos. Um, it's, it's hard to decide, you know, make that decision of like, when is it time to let a doll go and, you know, rehome it, put it up for sale. Um, I was, I did actually rehome some of my dolls um, in my end of the year, end of the year video. I did mention that some of the dolls are missing off of my shelf. Um, a lot of those dolls that are missing off my shelf are dolls that sold or dolls that I'm thinking about selling. So I just took them off the shelf just to kind of test the waters and see if I miss them actually on the shelf and whether or not, you know, I should actually sell them. And, uh... Yeah, I'll be continuing to reevaluate my collection going into this year as well. Uh, there are definitely dolls that I know are going to be looking for new homes. Um, I have to finish a few little projects before I do that. Um, let's see. Last on the list was new content for my channel. Uh, most of the videos for 2021 were box opening videos. At the beginning of the year, I did do a few comparison videos of my SD um, resin dolls, BJDs. Um, that was because I did plan on almost completely downsizing the SD dolls. I do really prefer MSD size, um, which are most of the dolls that are in my bookcase. Some of them are a little bit smaller dolls, um, but I only have I only have five I only have five SD resin dolls right now. Um, not including my Dolphy Dreams and Smart Dolls, of course. <laughs> but yeah, um, those are definitely ones that um, I decided to downsize the most. And um, the, uh, the videos, so I did videos of the SD comparison. And I also did a video of uh, comparing Dolphy Dream, Ebitsu, and Smart Dolls. I'm going to continue that video and um, add in a video for Dolphy Dreams since I did purchase a few of the other um, body sizes. So I do have some more dolls that I can do comparisons with. Um, I'm always looking for new suggestions, so definitely feel free to comment on that. Um, let's see. Okay, the most fun aspect of the doll hobby for me has been creating fashions for my dolls and, and my photo stories. I did um, mention in a video last year that I was going to open an Etsy shop for my doll fashions. I did do that. It was KB Doll Shop. And um, unfortunately, I only made like three sales. So I kind of temporarily closed the shop and I'm going to look over this year of how to actually organize it better and maybe do like one collection, a specific collection of um, doll clothing, maybe once a month, depending on the time, whether or not, you know, I have time to do that. Um, unfortunately, I do have my full-time business and that kind of, you know, that's my main income. I mean, that is my only income is my Etsy shop. So, um, I know in 2022, I'm going to be doing more conventions than I have in the past two years because of COVID. Um, so that is more going to be more of a focus for me and will 
kind of slow down the doll plans and whether or not I'm going to reopen my shop. I may just list um, the collections on Instagram or Facebook. So uh, definitely look for that information. Um, I'll probably do another video if I do open a shop just to show you what doll fashions I have in plan for that. Uh, let's see. So like I mentioned, the photo stories for my dolls. I mainly have been doing this with a core group of my MSDs. Um, they've mainly been my resin soul dolls um, because they were my main characters and my first dolls that I received. Um, I've I did a few, I only did two photo stories with them in 2021. Um, I do have plans for quite a few more this year because there are some of those SD dolls that I mentioned that I'm going to be re I'm going to be rehoming. Um, are a part of the photo stories, so I kind of need to complete their little um, story within those stories so that there's a little bit of resolution and they can go on their next journey. So look for those. Um, I'll give, I'll put a link into the um, description below. They are all on Facebook, so I just have the photo stories on Facebook right now. I have done a few of them on my smart dolls, but they're just kind of, they're kind of cutesy little stories and, and they're not overly involved like I do with my uh, resin BJDs, but I definitely plan on hopefully doing more of those for the smart dolls as well. Okay. All right. So let's talk about new dolls for 2022. I am currently still waiting on a few doll orders that um, I put in last year. Um, and that is going to be from Dream Valley, Amaray, and Soul Doll. So I'm very excited to see who arrives first. More than likely, it will probably be a smart doll. I never know what's going to release in the smart doll world. So, And um, the shipping is so quick for smart dolls that... Um, if something releases at the beginning of the year, or at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of this year, then um, more than likely my first doll of the year is going to be a smart doll again. Um, last year, my first doll was a smart doll prowess. I mentioned that in my la in my last video yesterday, and then my last doll of the year of 2021 was a smart doll uh, blue blue chitose multiverse. So. They get here very quickly. Resin dolls, you have to wait anywhere from three to six or seven plus months. So um, I'm pretty sure my first doll of the year will probably be a smart doll, but we'll see. Okay, so other doll plans. Um, I still have, I'm still hopeful that Resin Soul will um, release a male version of their centaur um, because I do have a few other custom dolls I'd like to order from them and a male centaur doll from them is definitely on the list. Um, yeah, because Resin Soul is one of my, is actually one of my, I've, I've said this in many, many videos, they're one of my favorite um, doll resin BJD companies because I love fantasy dolls and I love fantasy colors and they can, they do modifications and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to hopefully see some new dolls from them in this coming year. And as far as with smart dolls, I'm looking forward to seeing what new ones were going to come out. Um, he teases a lot of photos on Instagram, so it's just like you get so excited and you're just, but you're not sure when they're going to release. So top of my list is going to be Batgirl because I, I was able to get Supergirl last year. Definitely want to get back, Batgirl. Um, I'm a big, I'm a comic book fan. Um, DC and Marvel. I know sometimes people are like, well, you have to be one or the other, just like Star Wars or Star Trek. But no, I'm a total geek all around. Sci-fi, any sci-fi, most comic books, love them. So I'm definitely looking forward to Batgirl. Um, the other dolls that I'm looking forward to releasing is um, a gray doll. Uh, so far, he's only been teasing a... Anomaly, which is the zombie girl in gray. Um, she's really fantastic looking. And um, also they've been um, 
teasing recently CC, which is a character doll. I'm not sure if any of those are going to be released this year. Like I said, it just really depends on what goes on. And then there's always dolls throughout the year that he releases that you don't even see yet. <laughs> so it's always a fun surprise. Other than that, um, I never really have any specific plan for new dolls. It just kind of happens and you never know what companies will release, you know, what they'll be releasing. So it's always a nice surprise to see, see what dolls are going to come out and which ones that I really find that just speak to me and I want to purchase. All right, so I think that is probably it for all of the 2021 overview, the 2022 doggles that I want to continue into, definitely the dollhouse. I'm crossing fingers that will go through. Um, there's one last special announcement. Um, I am going to be doing a giveaway. This is going to be on Instagram only. Um, and it's going to be once I hit 1,000 followers. Uh, right now, I'm about at 917 followers, I think. So it's probably going to come up soon within the next month or so. So I will leave a link to my Instagram, as always, in the description. And uh, yes, definitely start following me. And um, I want to try and do one here for YouTube, my YouTube subscribers as well. Unfortunately, both of them are going to be for U.S. shipping only. Um, I really apologize for that, but due to shipping prices and just the unknown of the Postal Service lately within the past year or so, um, I just really want to keep it to the U.S. So uh, those are going to be, unfortunately, the restrictions at that time for this. And I will give more details on that. Um, I'll make either make a video or post that on my Instagram for announcements. All right. Um, I'm always up for ideas for new content that I can add to my channel. So again, feel free to comment below any suggestions that you might have. Um, I always mention this in my previous videos that there are a lot of videos out there, if you search them on YouTube, that that show restringing, dyeing, um, how to shop on different websites and things like that. Um, I, I mean, I could do another video, but there are so much, there is so much information out there now, more information than when I first started. So definitely like, you know, try and like do some search, search functions and um, search those out. And then um, if, if it's something that I can definitely, you know, do, I will try my best to put that content in here. Um, I did have, I can't remember if it was a comment on YouTube or something on Facebook or Instagram, um, but somebody had the idea that I should have my husband as a guest star on my YouTube <laughs> as a kind of q and I'm not really sure how that would look or how that would go or what questions to ask. I think it's a fun idea if I can get him to do it. Um, he's not a, he's not a big, um, like public speaker. I, I'm not either, but he's, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So if you have any suggestions of questions and stuff that, um, I should go over in the video, if it does happen, please leave it in the comments below. Cause I really think that would be honestly fun. Um, I have a few questions of myself and, um, the sillier, the better. <laughs> I mean, this is all about fun and having fun with dolls. All right. Um, other than that, yeah, please be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications of new videos. Um, there will be lots of new videos in 2022. Um, yeah, and give this video a like. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. I hope 2022 brings you lots of doll surprises and Happy New Year.